Hi, I'm Amanda, and uh, this is for uh, GPE 340. What? Uh, okay. Um, so going over uh, the things for this. Um, first of all, it said that the uh, elements from projects one, two, and three were working and imported. Um, so, uh, yes, they're all the, the, the people are still there. And if I play, uh, they still have their animations. Um, okay, they can still kill each other. And they have the ragdoll animation. My uh, player is now um, also respawning, yay. So all that is uh, working again. Um, let me see, what else? Um, oh, player has a health UI. Uh, yep, it's right up here. Um, when I start, I'm starting them at a really low health so that I can show the things that I need to show. But right there is his health bar. Um, and then when he dies, I just like walk into some bullets. There we go, I'm dead. And the health bar went down. This is also part of the um, of, of the code for Mousetone 4 as well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the enemies are spawning. You can see it started with one and then a second one ran over. And um, that part is fixed too because now... Uh, when the enemies spawn in, they go straight for the weapon. They go straight for the player. All of them do. Um, they're not, like, going in their giant line of uh, Timmy's walking across. <laughs> there, that ragdoll was <laughs> somewhat not working. <laughs> he was ragdolling while he was dying. Um, he was flopping around there, too. But anyway, um, they all come in, and they all go for the weapon, and they go for the mouse, which is good. So that's an improvement. That part's fixed um, from the last time. Uh, yep, you could see them shooting at player, and you could see them ragdoll on death. Now, we had health and life count was the next one. Actually, I did this whole thing just a little bit ago, but I'm doing it again because my recording thing did not work. So, uh, health bar, I just showed you. Um, but for the code for the health bar, uh, let's go in here and hop on over to health. Um, so, to show the actual bar itself is right here uh, to fill up health and uh, maximum health. Um, so to get it to uh, get a health bar. And right here, public image health bar in order to uh, float the image of the health bar itself. But yes, it was, uh, it is rather working. So that part is good. The other part of this milestone um, for health was the life count. So let me show you what I did. Um, I actually was trying to do two, and neither one of them work really well. But on this one, I had a, a game object array with hearts and life. And on each one, uh, with uh, if the health bar went all the way to zero, um, he was supposed to lose a heart. We're supposed to lose the second heart, we're supposed to lose the third part, and it's going to just destroy the game object that was the heart. That did not work. Um, so I tried this system. Almost the same thing. I have an integer that life, an integer number of parts, variables need for life parts. Um, and this array was a heart array, um, a public sprite with full heart, public sprite is an empty heart. So right here are the hearts themselves. And then the system itself on the canvas is right here, parts one, two, and three. Um, let me see. Also, I had in the prefabs, uh, maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the empty heart, the full heart. So they were here. I drew these, by the way. Hey, that could be some of my extra thing for that <laughs> milestone. <laughs> not entirely a game mechanic, but I did drew the hearts. Uh, let's see. Um, so anyway. What else was it? Um, okay, and then the the whole idea was you start with a full number of lives, a full number of hearts. And I have it so that you could switch the number within the inspector itself. So let's take a look at that. Um, down here is, like here, life three, number parts three. 
uh, the game designers could change these numbers. And uh, the original code had it, especially on the health system, so that it would add hearts and take away hearts. Only problem is it's not really working very well. Um, and then I just slid in the objects from the canvas down here and just slid them over. And then uh, this was my regular heart and this was my empty heart. So back to my code, what I had going on here was, or tried, was you lose a life, you lose a heart. And this was the code for that. Um, so this gave us a full heart. This gave us an empty heart. If you don't have a full heart, then else you're going to have an empty heart. You will have lost your life and lost a heart. Uh, number of hearts enables true. Else hearts enable is false if it's less than number of hearts. Um, I don't quite know what is going on, though, because every time I play it, it the system doesn't work. I thought it would work, but it doesn't entirely work, so... Hopefully I get some points on that one. Um, the health bar is definitely working though. Uh, just the, uh, I don't know what I am did to not quite connect my life system, but the code is there and I've even tried it again um, to try to get it to work. Uh, my weapon display, well, I had a friend that said, hey, you could use the same system if you get it up and running. The only problem was I couldn't get it up and running, so. I basically kind of made the same system for a weapon display, but this time using gun, a number of guns, the image of guns, uh, a revolver pick, a rifle pick, and then this code down here is basically the same thing, although if it doesn't work for the life, then it's not going to work for the weapons, and it does not work for the weapons, but here they are. These are my unworking <laughs> display of weapons. Um, <clears throat> so if I go down here, right here they are. That, so the idea was, again, game designer could change these numbers and then Spectre and you could increase the number of guns. And then um, it was not allowing me to do the element zero and one for some reason where I slide it in. So I don't know what is up with that. And then I got the pictures. I just uh, took a a thing of them and right here they are and with the weapons and just slid the pictures over here um, to make the ray. The idea of this one though was um, uh, like the only difference was like if you don't have the revolver then you're going to have the rifle. If you don't have the rifle you're going to have the revolver and the one would go away and I was hoping that if I could get this life heart system to work this would work too and then um, set it so that Whenever he picks up the weapon, the weapon is shown here on the canvas. So it, code is there, just not entirely quite functioning the way it, it should. Okay, so next part, um, the game pause. Now this goes with this, this, and the one down here with the actual pause menu. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, if I play, and if I press escape, there we go. There is the menu, so it is working. And then I can resume. So let's take a look at, whoops, I died. <laughs> take a look at this code here um, for that. Right here is my pause script. I just put it in a pause script. Um, part of it, they asked for a Boolean. So this is Boolean for the pause menu, because I think that was part of the... Um, the thing is that you have like a boolean pause, pause game, um, and then a time, time scale, and that you, you use that throughout the whole thing to do the thing. So like down here, if the player presses escape, the game will be paused, and I just demonstrated, but I'll demonstrate it again. If the game is paused, you're going to resume, else you're going to pause the game. So that here's the construction um, these that uh, let's see, so um, you're going to set the pause menu UI to set active as true um, if you're trying to pause the game. And then here is that time, time scale 0F, and the game is paused as true. So to pause the game. And then when you're going to resume the game, so like the uh, player is playing and wants to go back to the game, which I just demonstrated too on the game, but I'll show you again here in a minute. I said act as false and the time scale that time equals one instead of zero. And then the game is paused goes to false. And so true, the opposite, of course, is true. 
So if I am playing this thing and I press escape, you know, you got pause and then you got resume. So that one is yay working. Um, and I'm going to die again, but I will. <laughs> okay. So, and then anyway, um, it loads the menu for the player. Um, again, same idea, 1F to pause, unpause the game, so on and so forth. Um, I'm also going to talk just a little bit while I'm hitting all these milestones. Uh, the new mechanic above me on, even though 5 is going to um, have uh, <laughs> the rest of the menus. Well, I have the menus, um, and I, I did them. Uh, hopefully, uh, I can count that as my new mechanic for above and beyond, even though they're also going to be in 5. Um, but, so, uh, let me play this again. So if I am playing, and I want to escape, and then I hit menu, then I am taking to the title menu, um, and I can either start the game and go back. Whoops. Or I can click on settings. See, because we don't need all this yet. You know, we need a pause menu, and we needed to go to a menu, but my menus are set up. And then you can mess with the volume inside of this one too. And you can go back. And then the quit function is the same on both. Whoops. Cats are flying everywhere here. And then the quit, see, it doesn't quite work because, um, yeah, the, it's only going to work when you turn it into a build. But down here is the function to, to get it to quit application.quit. Worked for the last game anyway. It's going to work for this one as soon as I build it. Ah, which will be later tonight. So, I think that's that one. Um, the only other one I had really for this milestone, because that was the fully in pause, and I showed you the thing, I showed you time, time scale, and I showed you the, the actual pause menu. Um, new mechanic, because I have all three menus done. I've got a start menu, and i got a settings menu, and i got the uh, pause menu within the game. Um, but I have like a, a way to drop thing, and I had so many issues with that. I got seriously stuck on that. <laughs> like, I'm still stuck on it. It's it's worse than my weapon display and my life count. <laughs> I got stuck on that tanks too. But way to drops, yeah. Okay, so my code for way to drops. Here is my weighted object drawer. This part is set up exactly like Canvas to make the label. Um, to head on into that. I don't want a bunch of dice right now, but that is cool. Oh, look at that. Wow. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can't look at that right now. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I did change the color of the background of the box. Um, so I'll show you that too. The problem is I couldn't put the weights on it. Oh, the idea behind this in the first place is that the, uh, the game designer could then go in there and change weights on the give the weight drops to the enemy. And that the whole idea was that the enemy would drop, you know, like uh, the special gun. Because not like in mine, I have a gun that is worth more than the rest. Like down here, special bullets, bullet damage um, times equals two. So this bullet on this gun does more damage than other bullets. So if if I drop that ammo or I drop that gun and I, I would want to drop it less than I say I want to drop a health pickup, um, like right now my code is such and my game is such that the player can pick up an enormous amount of health. <laughs> um, and that's one of the things that I was going to do was change the bulk health so that uh, I could just pick up the one health bar and that's it. And my enemies would drop all of my health for me. And then just one would pick up, like, uh, would drop, rather, um, the special gun with the more damaging bullets. My guy's really low in health anyway on purpose so that I could demonstrate the game. So there you go. But um, there was uh, some issues inside of it. Um, let me go ahead and show you. So um, I needed to put it on the main enemy. So Timmy, Timmy's my main enemy guy. It's Timmy Turner. Hey, Timmy. Okay, so, um, oh my goodness, it's actually going to work. <gasps> this is the first time it, well, but of course it says null, so I don't know. But, you know, this, hey, 
Now it's blue. Honestly, I have put this in again and again, and it mixes up into all these other things, and I don't know what's doing. So, are you actually going to work? Can I do stuff with you? Oh, well, never mind. That was exciting for 30 seconds, sorry, 10 seconds during this film. It actually looked like I was going to be able to play with my weighted objects the way I was supposed to. But no, it's back to doing this nonsense. Yeah. So I don't quite know what I'm doing wrong here, but um, you know, the idea was it, you switch this number here that I can't even get to because it blends into all this other mess. And you could put uh, your size how many weapons you want. So I would have had, you know, uh, well, uh, weighted objects. So, you know, I could have three, I could have four, however many weighted objects I want. And then where it says blue and null, I could have drug it in, um, and I was going to, you know, put some cheese down because he's a mouse, and that was going to be the health, and um, yeah, <laughs> now it's doing, what are you, I was excited for about two seconds there, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know what it's doing wrong, but that that's my issue with that. Um, I do have the uh, weighted object drawer, though. I... It's trying to give it weighted drops, but hopefully I'll get some points on that. I just, yeah. <laughs> I could not figure out how to to get that up and running in the way it was supposed to. But, um, yeah, new mechanic was the other good news. Um, well commented. I did try to comment throughout um, some of it again. Um, on the life. There's live, pause menu, you want to deactivate pause menu when you're on pause, load menu for player, quit the menu, you know, so all that's cut. You know, so I, I tried to comment where I could. This has been such a, a difficult one that, um, yeah, because I'm just now turning it in and, have, and then I have to go and get the final one done too. So, yeah, I did the best I could, I guess. So There we go. I'm going to go ahead and upload this, and hopefully my sound works this time. Last time my sound didn't work. Um, showed you the health bar. I don't know if I... Did I show you the actual health bar code? I think so. See public image health bar. Um, yeah, right there. Update health. Update health. Fill, fill amount equals health. Maximum health. So... Um, and you can mess with the health itself inside the inspector as well. If you wanted to, you could give him more health. So, like, if I go down to my player, like, he has hardly any health when the game starts. I did that on purpose so that it can see it. Technically, his maximum health is 100, and I have <laughs> health is 10. But if I did this, and I have play, and then I will never die. See, now my bar is blue. And ah, I just lost a couple points there. But you get the idea. So uh, you could play with this. You could give him, you know, more health, less health. Uh, game designers could play with this too. And the health bar, therefore, could change on how much health uh, the player is given. Uh, same thing on Timmy and all the targets, really. You could play with their health. And game designers could choose to play with the health and give it however much health they want to give it. But there, that was health bar, um, and I think that's it. So I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.